What makes a good movie? Video essay YouTubers and let's be honest, grifters in any fandom would tell you that it has to be a serious drama where it has to be life-changing lessons. Where it's all portrayed in a realistic way, and I guess it doesn't have woke in it. But these people don't even understand the very foundation of what movies and the very medium they are in. And it is so much more than that. Movies are an art form, and according to the foundation of art and healing, Art is the expression or application of human creativity and imagination. Whether it's a poem, doodle, or musical or art, in all its forms, captures ideas, conveys emotion, and unpacks experiences and reveals perspectives reflective of individuals and the collective circumstances. If one were to look into the history of film and even some of the greatest films of all time, not every single one is going to be this art house drama with heavy social commentary. It might have barely, if little at all, Movies are a tool to take people to different worlds they can't see beyond our own. And all that creativity imagination is so vast and varied from movie to movie. You can't simply make an all-time standard for something and how it should be done. Because if we were to say a story should always have a flow from beginning to end, Pulp Fiction would be a bad film objectively. And that's the word, objective. Because there is none in this art form. Because there's no such thing as an objective opinion or if something is objectively correct in any art form. And before the people who try to deny this say, Oh, well that means the Cheeto bag that has the color orange on it, it must be red because of subjective. Twisting my words will not do you any favors. There are things that happen in movies that are correct and the such intentions from the filmmakers. But what people make of it, and if they think it's good or bad, is all subjective. We are all different from each other. And the simplest things like if sour spicy food tastes just fine for someone, but tastes really bad for someone else. In that sense, we all literally have different tastes. If someone thinks a movie that's light on character work and story, but big on action and any lack of realism, is better than a war drama with a character driven narrative, that's perfectly fine. If someone thinks a political thriller is a better movie than an all out balls to the wall nonstop action movie, that's perfectly fine. We don't judge every movie on the same metrics of things. Because if we did, and only asked for the same movie that armchair YouTube critics said we should make, it would be completely boring. Someone can think that the two greatest movies of all time are 2001, A Space Odyssey, and John Wick, a movie that's just a hitman killing people who killed his dog, and that's it. There's nothing wrong with a movie not being complex. So to say that we should demand better is something like the MonsterVerse. That might be what you want, but is that something someone else wants? What if they think it's great just as it is? And trying to use Pacific Grim Uprising as a gotcha, just to say that Godzilla fans tolerate this because it's Godzilla, really just shows how simplistic your mentality is. Just because two movies share the same direction doesn't mean the execution is going to be the same. Or how someone will take the movie. It's such a disingenuous way to deflect anyone, and disingenuous points are the whole pathos of these guys. But then it comes to what most people think of when they say everything is objective. It's the feeling of wanting to look smarter than the rest of others. They won't admit it, but these type of YouTubers that pop up even on other social media sites likely have nothing of fulfillment in their own lives, or lack thereof. So the idea of a falsehood where they can say you're wrong, they're right is the only thing they can get out of it, even though they know what they're saying is wrong. I mean, Dr. Skipper's video is still being echoed inside the Godzilla fandom still, and has been for a while, even before the video he made. But all they can come up with is criticizing stuff that doesn't even happen in these movies. Any form of media literacy is gone, and people will buy into it because they frame themselves like they know what they're talking about. I'm Rick the Squirrel, and thank you for coming to my TED Talk.